See, it's... This game is a lot more complicated than the first just because of stuff like that, where there's really obscure things that you need to do. I do remember spending far more time on this game way back in the day just because of how difficult it was. Now we go to the cemetery. Yeah. The stream, the stream is definitely saved, even if it is about a minute and a half behind now. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, look at Coffin. With the ashes, we now use ashes to life. Do we really need a loading screen for this? That was a close one. If I didn't have my flame resistant apron on, I would have been killed. You were killed, Rap. What? <laughs> You're two weeks past the expiration date. I'm dead? Stiff as a frozen foot long. I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. There is something I must do before I pass on. Pass along your part of the map to Big Whoop. No. I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. It's driving me crazy. I'll check the gas for you, Rap. Thanks. Here's the key. Okay. I remember that was uh, pretty horrifyingly graphic in the old game, too. His resurrection animation. So we need the key to the weenie hut. Right. So, where's the gas? Is it around the back? How do we get around to the back of the weenie hut? I just turn the knob. There you go. Okay. It's open. It's empty. Except for the baked on weenie juice. It's stuck shut with old grease and pork fat. Yeah. They're empty, but mm, I can still smell the pickles. Alright. There's nothing in here. I guess we gotta go tell him. Back to the cemetery.
You were right. The gas was on. I turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. Thanks. Now I can rest in the folds of the earth, like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah. All right. We got the map. back to dread ship so the last one I'm pretty sure is in Where do you want to go? what's his face's thing uh, back on as booty island deep within the Chuck's fortress blah 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 Largo yeah you called for me is it true that guy brushed three foot has found the third piece of the map to Big Whoop? Ah, yes, sir. I was about... Why did you not come and tell me yourself? Well, I was trying to confirm that he really... Largo, you have been my trusted henchman for many years, but I won't hesitate to drag your entrails from behind my ship if you do not bring me Guybrush before he finds that treasure! All right. So now we have to find a way to convince Kate to give me her non-grog. Because that's the only way I'm going to be able to get the, uh, the thing back. Big whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain Marley. They buried their treasure along with plenty of booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rap Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Okay, Young Lindy check. drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaving at the time. Okay. Was that not the sunken? We got the Captain Marley map. We got... That was the one that... F okay, so the Captain Marley one was the one that we found in the tree. We got the one that was in the antique shop, which must have been from young Lindy. And we just got the one from Rapscallion, which means the other one, the last one, is from the Grog guy. We cannot get the Grog until we get the non-Grog, and that's the only one way we're going to get the, uh, the competition. The, the drinking contest, that's the only way we're getting out of that. So how do we, how do we get her to give it to me? Oh, I could blow my nose. Like maybe I could give her some actual grog? But then, I mean, she would have just ordered the regular stuff. Obviously, she wanted the non-grog for something. I can't remember how we get it. Maybe now that we got the third map I piece, think. we can convince her? 
No. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Last bottom boat. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. Three hour tours. Check it out. I don't have that invitation anymore. See the world. Cruises. Three hour tours. See the world. Check it out. Thanks, but no thanks. See the world. See the world. Sunken galleons. Three hour tours. Three hour tours. Glass bottom boat. Thanks, but no thanks. See the world. Check it out. Check it out. Three hour tours. See the world. Sightseeing. Three hour tours. All right. This, this is the only thing I need left. Let's see, we got that. Your face in the oh, okay. Sneaky. Check it out. Check it out. Where do you want to go? See, this is a really obscure thing too. So we come over here, right? And there's this poster for being wanted. We gotta put Kate's face on there instead. It's Captain Kate. But how do I get her to get arrested? Do I go back to Booty Island? I guess I gotta go. Here we go. Excuse me. Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsai. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail. But I'm taking you back in. Where do you want to go? Okay, we'll just stay here. Who is this Peep Wind character anyway? Fools. They can't keep me locked up. Nice. Can I'll I... figure a way out of here. Who is this can't talk to her anyway? Hey. Uh oh. I can explain. I. Thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. I've got to find out who framed me. Is that not what we wanted to do? I thought I was going to get some non grog out of her. Where do you want to go? Sunken galleons. Shit. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Cruises. What the hell? All right. Okay. Oh, right. Because everyone has an envelope that gets 
Sunken galleon. Oh, dum dum. Where do you want to go? Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Claims she was framed. Guybrush Threepwood. Hey, there's some near grog in here. There we go. All right. Now we can go do this drinking contest. Where do you want to go? Wait a minute. It was on Fat Island. We were we were on the right island. Where do you want to go? I need to go this path. All right. Let's head to. Well, I guess we can just head straight to the cottage then. Welcome back, Pocket Ninja. All right. Let's try this. Back again, eh? Let's get this over with. Come on in. I'll get us set up. I wish I'd never bought this house. It's only caused me trouble. All these treasure hunters wanting to come in. But I guess you want to go through with this. Here's your drink. You ever tried booze from the West? Makes your lips pucker. But it's powerful medicine. I don't like watered down grog. I had cases and cases of it, all in one day. Then I came to my senses. All gone. That was when I took up rum. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No, thanks. I'll be fine. You drink first. Now it's your turn. He's just sleeping. All right. Push. Whoa. And there he is. Looks like he died while taking a bath. Gee, I still can't make heads or tails of it. I think I need an expert. Butt slide. Interesting. So why do we want to swap that so we slide out the hole? Why would we want to do that? Because now it's going to prevent us from ever coming in here again. Okay, it went back to normal. No house should be without one of these.
Obviously that's got to come into play later. But I don't remember ever coming back here to this. Well, anyway. We got the four pieces of the map, so the only person who's going to know how to handle this is going to be Wally. Nope, nope, nope. We gotta go to the cave. I swear there, there's gotta be a faster way through here. So, now we, the next half of this is going to be figuring out Where do you want making to go? a voodoo doll. Hmm. Well, Chuck, sir, I got good news and I got bad news. The bad news is that Guybrush has found the last piece of the map. Nah, the good news is that I got a plan that can't fail. Ah, you see, he must take the map to a cartographer to have it deciphered. I'll head him off before he gets there. If your plan fails... It will not, your voodoo lordship. Hello. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. Okay, how about we give these to him instead? What's this? A map? Hmm, looks like only part of a map. I've got the rest of it right here. Hmm, very interesting. Can you put it all together into one map for me? I'll do it for you if you'll run an errand for me. Go to the International House of Mojo and ask the fortune teller if my love potion's ready. Okay. I'll try to have this done for you when you come back. I do feel kind of bad for skipping over the first cutscene when we got the first piece of the map. Because I think that sets up a lot more of the story dialogue for why we're doing what we're doing I didn't re I didn't remember or realize that I was going to trigger that by getting two of them at the same time Again, Mr. Threefwood. Wally sent me to pick up some love potion. Oh, okay. Tell him I said to enjoy, but to be careful. It's powerful stuff. Wouldn't want that little guy getting hurt. Wait, I just felt a sudden disturbance in the force. As if a tiny, tiny voice just called out in fear and then hastily scratched a message in a table. I think Wally's in trouble. And I think LeChuck has something to do with it. Uh-oh. I better go check. Alright. Was that crate there before? To the ghost pirate LeChuck. Care of LeChuck's Island Getaway and Spa. Contents, miscellaneous voodoo supplies. To the ghost all right, all pirate right. LeChuck. Care of LeChuck's Island Getaway and Spa. Contents, miscellaneous voodoo supplies. Okay, yeah, yeah. We gotta... 
No, not 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 the boat. We don't want to use that just yet. Where do you want to go? Where do you go? Someone's hastily scratched a message here. It just says, LeChuck. Oh no, LeChuck's kidnapped the cartographer. The poor little guy. Hey, he has my map. It just says, All right. <sighs> LeChuck. Nice map. Pretty sure that's a map of Monkey Island. Back to the voodoo lady. I'm gonna go talk to her, but we can hop in that crate. to waste. I can offer you no more help. Your destiny is in your own hands now. Alright, well. <laughs> then we just get in the crate. Also, he, he he had quite a lot of time to carve LeChuck into his table. like another box of live snakes. Sounds like it, too. Well, let's get it on the truck. In the small crate of voodoo supplies that would be his home for the next five days and nights, Guybrush is forced to eat bat lungs and eel bladders to stay alive. Eventually, Guybrush and the rest of the slithering cargo are delivered to the very doorstep of the Caribbean's most fearsome villain, living or dead, the ghost pirate, Chuck. Thanks, Pocket Ninja. Ah, the Chuck's crate of voodoo supplies. You know, we usually don't deliver out this far. And you guys fucking for a tip? Well, we figured since. Well, you figured wrong. LeChuck don't tip nobody. Gee, what a butt. Dick, I hate snakes. All right. apparently. Well, before we use the back tunnel, let's go to the front tunnel here. Okay, here's where the everything bone connected to the what's it bone is important here. But 
believe that's Wally. It's Wally. Wally. Mr. Brush, is that you? How's it hanging? You think this is funny? They abducted me in my office, brought me here in a duffel bag, interrogated me. Then they, they... What? What? They took away my monocle for a while. I see. It's the map, Wally. What about the map? Oh, LeChuck's got it, but who cares? Who cares? Yes, I memorized the whole thing before he took it. It's on an island called Dinky, not too far from here. After you bust me out of here, we could steal a boat and go there. Could you please stop that annoying swinging? Sorry. <laughs> um. I have something to confess about your monocle. Dread stole it. I knew it. He's always envied my intellectual look. Okay, stand back. I'm gonna bust down the door. What are you, nuts? Go get the key. He probably keeps it in his office down the hall. I'm gonna go get that key. Okie dokie. Pretty big. Yeah, all right. All right, before we bother with that, let's go to the back archway here. Back tunnel. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh-oh. Did I get myself stuck? All right. It's some kind of strange skeleton statue. All right. Well, regardless, this is the one we need. The first sequence is the rib bone, arm bone, and head bone. Okay. Then we need leg bone, hip bone, and arm bone. There's the LucasArts logo. Then it's rib, leg, hip. And then it's head, rib, leg. Here we go. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. Let's see here. There's some matches in here, and something that says Love Bomb on it. Instructions. One, light fuse. Two, throw at target. Three, get ready for love. Close cover before striking. International House of Mojo. doesn't seem to work. Yeah, exactly. We just need we need the uh, special get the firecrackers to blow it open. Okay, do I have to go through that sequence again? Okay, I didn't think so. So let's go now to this tunnel. Do these do the same thing? I could try it. Except none of these are in sequence, so I don't think so. It's some kind of strange skeleton statue. Okay. It just shortcuts to here now. So now I need some kind of acid, some kind of something. 
I don't think I should cut that. Thing is, where am I going to get that stuff? I'm, I'm trapped here. We didn't come here in a ship, so I can't go anywhere else. It's full of voodoo crap. I'm not hauling LeChuck's stuff anywhere, especially the way he tips. I'm not getting back in there. Wally again. Let's go back. Uh... Oh, uh, hi, by the way, Riddle of the Sphinx. Yeah, yeah, no, it's nice that they shortcut that stuff for you. Um, God, we gotta. Wally. We got problems here. It's locked up tight. I'd surely need a key. Don't remember how to open half this stuff. I don't suppose the jail cell key works on this one. That doesn't seem to work. No. Okay, is there a different sequence? It says it's in his office just down the hall. Rib bone, arm bone, head bone. That just gets me to the same place. I thought maybe I had to use that sequence to get somewhere else. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. Does this just open? <laughs> yes, it does. Doggy door. Giant key to the voodoo jail. Guy Brush Threepwood. You have finally been caught. I have searched every island. Sailed every sea. And now, you are mine. What do you have to say for yourself? Mm. Largo. Yes, sir, LeChuck, sir. Take Guybrush down to the torture chamber and get the machine set up. Yes, sir. <laughs> you be in a heap of trouble, Guybrush Threepwood. Now that you are mine, you will pay for what you did to me. Hey, what's a little root beer between friends? Silence! There is only one thing more painful than being resurrected from the dead and crammed into a rotting body. Do you know what that is? Hmm. It is what is about to happen to you. Can't we talk this thing out? You see that candle over there? When it burns through that rope, the bag will fall on the bellows. When it is compressed, it will shoot a single lead bullet, which will ricochet off that pan, then off the shield behind me, bounce off that other shield, finally striking the green balloon. When it pops, it will cause that lever to fall, releasing that ratchet on the chain wheel, and sending you down into the pit of acid. Yeah. Uh, gee, I, uh... Do you know what happens next? Um, well... I will take your bones, still alive and in great pain, and make them into a chair. I will call it my screaming chair. 
Every morning I will sit in it and listen to you scream. <laughs> Any questions? If this is four and this is two, what's this? One. Who won the World Series in 56? Chicago. How is the lead bullet going to get to the balloon? It will ricochet off a bunch of stuff, I... What happens when the bag falls on the bellows? I'm growing tired of your stupid questions. Prepare to die. He didn't say wh what he was going to do to me. Uh, an ottoman comes to mind. All right. So... Nice. Basically, here we go with the spit again. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Shoot, wrong one. Hey, watch it with the spit. <laughs> Watch it with a spit. I think we just go straight to the candle. Hey, watch it with a spit. Okay. <laughs> hey, watch it with a spit. My Damn mouth it. is all dried up. This stuff makes my spit thick. Hey, watch it with the spit. Damn it, Wally. Hey, watch it with the spit. Is it, do I have to aim at the bottom of the pan? Watch it with a spit. <coughs> now that just hey, keeps going back and forth. With a spit. Poor Wally. My mouth is all dried up. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. <coughs> There we go. Arr! What be going on in here? Largo, relight the candle. <sighs> Guybrush has escaped. Find him. Ha! I bet LeChuck is really cheesed off now. Yep. Hey, Wally? Yeah? Where are we? Good question. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! Ah! On to Dinky Island. That wasn't too bad. Hours later. A lot of trial and error there. Okay. There's a bottle. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Holly wants a cracker. I want my granddaughter to marry a real man. A captain, not a washout like you. It's not a twist off. Okay, let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we buried the treasure. It's empty, and there's a cap on it. There's a cap ah, on it. I want my granddaughter to marry a real man. A captain, Where'd my knife go? Like Where'd you. my hammer go? All my okay, stuff is gone. let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we buried the treasure. Welcome to Dinky Island, home of the treasure of Big Whoop. Oh, no, no, that's not right. 
Hey Pete. Uh, yeah, this is the remastered version. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? There's a little dent in it where I hit my head. Molly wants a cracker. What? Oh, the heck with it! Oh no, no, that's not right. Pretty Polly. Okay, let's go over it one more time. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Polly wants a cracker. Okay, we need okay, a cracker for Polly. Let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we bury the treasure. Herman Toothrod. Herman Toothrod, what are you doing here? Oh, hi. I've been waiting for you. What do you mean you've been waiting for me? Our meeting comes at this, the final moment of my existence so far. All else has been in anticipation of this event. Do you mean to tell me that your whole life has been merely a prelude to meeting me here today? Yours too. But see, already the moment passes. Now our meeting is nothing more than another note in the grand overture to the next passage. I'm looking for a treasure. Have you seen any? There are many treasures here, found and unfound. The beauty of the ocean, for example. Or the treasure of the past, seen in the rings of trees, or the half-remembered cacklings of a parrot. The treasure of the future, waiting in the seeds of mangoes and the eggs of the platypus. Actually, I'm looking for the treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I am afraid I am not... Uh, familiar with that one um the only difference aside from yeah graphics and voice is uh, the interface has changed so they in, in the first game the remastered version you could swap between the new system and the old scum engine interface this doesn't have that it's purely just the the mouse interface it's uh it's a little weird but it's also actually pretty pretty good it works out all right what are you doing here I'm teaching philosophy here what sort of philosophy are you teaching neo existentialist Cartesian Zen Taoism it's all the rage at cocktail parties this year how many students have you got well uh, none at the moment but as soon as word gets out that a guru such as myself is teaching at a beautiful locale like this, I'll have to beat them off with a stick. <laughs> right here? On the beach? Sure beats a Tibetan mountaintop. I can go surfing when things are slow. Could you teach me some philosophy? Okay, here's a Zen koan for you. W what? A philosophical puzzle. If a tree falls in the forest, and no one is around to hear it, what color is the tree? Forest green? Not exactly. Brown? Nope. Blue? Not even close. Red? Nope. Cyan? Not even close. Lavender? Nah. Okay, we can just do that forever. Hey, Think about it some more and come back when you have an answer. Ah. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Okay, can we use the crowbar Marley on the crates? I don't think I ought to do that. Oh, the heck with it! Yeah, no, oh, they smell like anchovies. Oh, no, no, that's not right. It's a moonshine still. Okay. Well, let's continue on. Tree. Why do we want to look at this tree specifically? Shaped like a giant boomerang. There you go. To the jungle. I think, I think actually, yeah, there is, but we're going to have to find it, and it's going to be something actually obscure. Like, we're going to end up finding something that we give to him, and he's going to think it's really profound. I don't remember exactly what it is, though. going to be in line with LucasArts humor. A bag. This looks like a trap. There's something lumpy in it. And I don't have my knife to cut it down with, so... I can't reach it. Yeah. 
nice. climb the tree. Can't climb the nice. tree. I can't reach it. Yeah, <sighs> shoot. I don't think I ought to do that. Okay. I have to remember that this is here. Well, sometimes it is. I mean, you never know what is just there for the gag and what's there for an actual puzzle. TNT. It's tied shut with rope. Once again, it would be nice to have my thing. My it's knife. A disgusting bog. Do I still have my fishing rod? I, I don't do. think that would be very sporting. What do you mean? I don't think that would be very sporting. Okay. I'm gonna get lost here. Yep. <laughs> Dang it. or topiary. I wonder if I'll be able to do this like I did in the first game and just accidentally brute force my way through the forest. Nice. One, nine, zero, zero, seven, four, zero, J, E, B, I. It's the old LucasArts help hotline. Remember, kids, if you're under 18, ask your parents before calling. Lucasfilm Games Hint Line, Chester speaking. I'm lost in the Dinky Island jungle in Monkey 2. Ugh, look, there are only two ways out of the room you're in. Figure it out, knucklehead. What is this game? When is Swallow gonna ship? It's been out for some time now. Where have you been? Playing some frustrating graphic adventure? Where do babies come from? What are you, a pervert? What's wrong with you? Why do adventure games cost so much? Hey, I just work here. Who thought up that dumb stump joke? I am tired of hearing about that damn stump. Do you have any idea how many calls I get a day about that? Don't ask me about it again. I'm not sure what that refers to. We probably didn't come into that room just yet. What is the secret of Monkey Island? Oh, I'm fed up with stupid questions like that. It's a surprise, okay? How much money have I spent talking to you? 75 cents a minute. You can ask your computer to work out the math for you. I'm lost in the Dinky Island jungle in Monkey 2. I told you, just walk off the edge of the screen. How hard could that be? I'm lost in the Dinky Island jungle in Monkey 2. I told you, just walk off the edge of All the right. screen. How hard could that be? Uh, thank you. You've been very helpful. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. Just another little Easter egg thing. Unfortunately, it didn't help me at all.